Hey everybody, thanks for watching my first video. Wanted to do a little bit of TTM session today. I've got a couple of autographs that I had sent out via the mail that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, and also recap a couple of 2019 Tops Update series that I hit this morning. Um, kind of got the inspiration from this from J&W Cards. Really appreciate kind of the, the effort that he's done in, in making TTM more prevalent within the YouTube community. So I'm uh, going to shamelessly probably steal his... Uh, his scenario where we you know, show who the autograph was and give a little bit about the player. So I've got three back today. Um, I did open them just to double check and make sure they were signed. So the first one that we have is Dave Ford. So uh, you'll very quickly learn that uh, I am a Maryland native and a huge Baltimore Orioles fan. Um, so the some of the early early 80s Baltimore teams were some of the first I remember. Uh, so Dave Ford was actually a first round draft pick of the Orioles in 1975. He was actually drafted 23rd overall. Yeah, 23rd overall. Um, his career um, wasn't extremely long. Uh, 51 games, eight of those uh, as a starter. His record of five and six with an ERA of just a touch over four. Um, basically looks like uh, four seasons with the Orioles, 78, 79, 81, 82. Um, so, kind of a, a cool autograph. I also thought it was kind of cool that um, I usually add an index card to the reply just so I've got some sturdiness to the mail. And he actually signed the index card as well. So that's Dave Ford. The next one I got back is Eric Bell. And Eric Bell, a little bit longer career, um, so his history with Mr. Bell, he was drafted ninth round in 1982 out of Fred C. Byer High School in Modesto, California. Um, looks like career statistics, almost a break-even pitcher, 15 wins, 18 losses, an ERA just a touch over five. And he actually did not sign the index card. Still a cool autograph. And this is probably the one I'm most excited about. This was the first one that I got back. So if you're if you follow the the Orioles history as some of the older World Series teams, you've got 20 game winner Scott McGregor. So a little bit about Scott, uh, just because he did pitch uh, late 70s, early 80s. He was a first round draft pick, actually 14th overall out of high school as well. Uh, career stat line. 138 wins, 108 losses, ERA, um, just a touch under four uh, with 900 plus strikeouts. So I thought this was pretty cool. Also, the uh, the postmark shows from Baltimore as well, so still local, which I think is pretty cool. So those are the three I got back. I'm hoping to get a few more over the next few days, and I'll kind of combine them and do the next video. Uh, what I do want to do now is just show a couple um, 2019 Tops Update Series hits. Uh, my local Target did have some blaster boxes uh, this morning, so I picked a few of those up. And since I, I'm an Orioles fan, I'm not a huge fan of the manufactured patches, but I thought this one was actually pretty cool. So you've got a Hall of Famer in Frank Robinson, but also has the 150-year stamp, which means this one is actually numbered. You see that? 80 out of 150. I said, I don't really care for the menu patches, but the, the short print makes it kind of cool, and especially an Orioles Hall of Famer. The next one I got, and there's some debate on you know value of his product, but uh, there is an insert in the series for Shohei Otani. So you also like the Robinson notice that has the 150th stamp on this one. And I'm guessing all the inserts and special cards is when the stamp means it's actually short printed. So it's the Shohei insert of rookie of the year of his rookie of the year award, um, short printed to 150 total. And probably the coolest thing of all in the update series, um, I was able to hit a relic, an All Star Game threads of Ronald Acuna Jr., arguably one of the the hottest players in the hobby right now. Um, not numbered, um, but is event worn. Um, it actually says down here that. The relic on the card was from a workout jersey during the All-Star Game festivities, so it was player-worn, not game-worn. 
But still a pretty cool little car, especially given the hype around Acuna right now. So that's what I've got. I'm hoping as more TTMs come through to make a few more videos. So I appreciate everybody watching. Have a great day.